guys, today we will be ranking every single roller coaster to our King's Island. Coming in first is the, coming in at number 14 is the Great Pumpkin Coaster. The Great Pumpkin Coaster is a kiddie coaster. There's really nothing to it. The little kids like it. You know what I want to do is how my mom would love? I wanted to go right, get in line and for the picture be a thumbs down. <laughs> anyway, coming in at number um, 13 is flaw. I mean, wood stock express. Woodstock Express is a fun family coaster. Actually, not fun, boring. <laughs> but it's good for the little kids. I think it's an extreme thrill ride for the little kids. Because if you're getting into roller coasters, if you're a starter, you would want to ride it. Coming in at number, 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 twelve is Flying Ace Aerial Chase. The parks of Oklahoma Hang and Bang. Flying Ace Aerial Chase is another kitty coaster built by Vacoma. The ride isn't very impressive. Slow one. Though, the ride looked a lot better when playing Snoopy was Nickelodeon Universe. Nickelodeon Universe looked a lot better than what we have today. Than for Planet Snoopy. I miss, I want Nickelodeon Universe, so no, whatever. Anyway, coming in at number 11 is, disclaimer, you guys probably are already gonna leave the video. Coming in at number 11 is The Racers. I know, I know. It's just this, that the last experience I got on Racers was really rough on the way back. In that ruins, on the way back on this side hill, it gets really rough. That's why I had to rank it so low. Plus, I mean, the ride's floater air time's a lot of fun. So I'm, determ so I'm determined that the ride next to it is actually better than me. If not better than me, I don't know. Anyway, coming in at number 10 is a Adventure Express. Okay, no one's yelling at me yet, are they? Is anybody yelling at me? Jeez, please don't yell at me, people. Please do not yell at me. I know, no one's gonna yell at me. Adventure Express is a roller coaster built by Aerodynamics. It's a family of, you know, family mind train. Not a lot to it. No, the rides, jump into a tunnel is pretty forceful. Though it's for, mostly for starters. Coming in at number nine, is disclaimer nope it is back lot stunk coaster back lot stunk coaster i know it's built by premier rides and all that premier rides yes they did pretty good that launch is powerful it's not as powerful as flight of fears and that's higher up flight of fears higher up on the list the back lot it's a good ride. It has a good amount of theming stuff. We see she's really uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable ride. I just, I'm sorry. It's uncomfortable with all the terms. Plus, at the end with the fire effects, you know, it's fine. Anyway, coming in at number eight is, guys, you're, you're going to leave the video already. Coming in at number eight is... Banshee! Okay, okay, I know you're all gonna leave the video. Sorry. Bye. Bye, the video's over. Okay, fine, I'll come back. Banshee's a roller coaster built by BNM. It features the awful vest restraints. It's the only ride where I don't, the only ride where I hate the vest restraints. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they just need to add the original ones, like Raptor. <sighs> Banshee is a pretty good ride. You know what I mean? Pretty good, I mean pretty bad. Ugh, I can't say that. It's like 168 feet, like one, we have one mile faster than Drop Tower or a few. But Drop Tower's more intense, Drop Tower's more scary. So, bye bye.
Now coming in at number seven is the bat. The bat, I like the swing and fish. That's pretty good. It's built by Aerodynamics. Has a pretty big height, pretty good speed. Rides nice. It's um, I like Iron Dragon. Um, I like that. Um, I think I like Iron Dragon a bit more because Iron Dragon is just a longer ride. Anyway, coming in next. Coming in at number six is the Beast. The Beast is a roller coaster built by none of your business. I'm just kidding. It features 111 feet with a, I'm pretty sure the drop height's bigger since it goes in the tunnel. The Beast has the PTC trains, you know, PTC lap bars and all that. We don't need to know about the Beast because I'm going to ride the Voyage and I'm and I bet all my money that the void is better than the beast. Anyway, coming in at number four is Invertigo. Invertigo is the most scariest ride in the park in my opinion. Though it doesn't rank the highest, it's a fun ride, you know. I like, because I've ridden it, I got my summer drop, because I've ridden it first time in like the front row and backwards for the first time and it got my stomach baby it got my stomach it's built by vacoma it is known as the vacoma boomerang coming in number next i'm <laughs> going in at number four is flight of fear flight of fear is a fun ride the launch is pretty powerful of course so I like these, I like the curveball, though it loses a freaking a lot of speed. But one time I rode it, my feet got like crammed up or something. Yikes, that was uncomfortable. They need to make those trains bigger. They need to make those trains a bit bigger. Like, seriously. The ride is built by Premier Rides, and I guess it's kind of a near, I guess it's kind of like a rocking roller coaster at Hollywood Studios in Florida. But coming in at number three is Mystic Timbers. Oh my gosh, Mystic Timbers is freaking awesome. I love how much airtime it gives. The ride's not about intense. The ride's a little intense. I'd say Mystic Timbers be about be my airtime machine, baby. My airtime machine. My millennium. I'm just kidding. Anyway, coming in at number two is Diamondback. Now, Diamondback is good. I like the floater airtime. Plus, it's huge. It's 200 and... Plus, it's huge. It's 200. Like, it's 10, 230 feet. Built by Bollinger and Maviar. Goes like 73 miles per hour. It opened in 2009, and say, it's pretty good for opening in 2009. Coming in at number one is the one and only Orion, new for 2020. Opened in 2020, oh shoot, my mouse. Opened in 2020, and it still has a good reputation. And why am I saying that? It It's three. It's 287 feet with 300 feet drop. It goes 91 miles per hour. And it's the 10th tallest roller coaster in the entire world. The entire continent. The entire planet. Anyway, that will be all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.